Okay, so it's another horrible day on the boat. Uh, the weather outside is fine soaking drizzle and blowing about 20 miles an hour. Uh, so working outside is out of the question. I have brought the welder with me, uh, so I might be able to do some welding in there. Uh, I guess I'd better find something to do though. I'm sure you're all familiar with our to do, doing and done board. So I'm just gonna have a quick look at uh, the inside board to see what I can crack on with today. What about in the aft cabin? Uh, I don't wanna put the insulation in yet or weld in those patches because I'd have to do that from the outside and the new windows and the escape patch. Uh, that's one that we forgot the other day, weld up the stanchion post. That's actually been done, let's move that. Uh, seam weld the inside of the seats. So that's something I could definitely do. And while I'm back in the aft cabin, I could fit these uh, old fittings back on the transom. They're actually old, but they're, they're really good. These, this is one of the bilge pump outlets for the inside of the transom. So I'll give the rubber gasket a clean up, um, give the whole thing a bit of a clean and fit that back. That's another thing I could do today. One of them, I can't remember which, goes down there on that one, and the other one goes on that one. Uh, you can actually see the dark patches there where we welded on the stanchion posts last week. Uh, I've got to clean those up and freshen up the paint. But before I get to welding, uh, sorry, before I get to fitting those back on, what I want to do is just touch up a few of the places that I've masked off where I need to weld up some last little bits that I missed when I built the seats. So let's get that done first. Believe it or not, a couple of weeks ago, I got another piece of speck of metal in my eye and that was whilst wearing goggles. And uh, it just, the piece of metal bounced off my cheek and up behind my goggles. So uh, on the advice of um, a certain Adam Savage uh, of Mythbusters fame, I've uh, got a pair of these DeWalt ones, which, look really good and they're dirt cheap I only need to just quickly grind off a little bit of metal there just to clamp the earth on for the welder but um, I've, I've had so many incidents with this now even wearing goggles that I'm, uh, I'm just being ruthless about PPE now after all of the people on the internet telling me wear more PPE I'm actually starting to do it now you should be proud of me Okay, so I've gone over all of the welds that I need to go over, um, the ones that were concerning me. Everything else I've had a good look at and it's all fine. There's one patch I found which is really annoying me uh, and I'd like to do it today, but it's too windy to start cutting out um, a patch. It's actually where one of the old hinges was on the old opening lazarettes and the metal there is not as good as I would have, uh, as I really like. So it's only a small patch and I can do it in half an hour but it's just too windy and too nasty to do it today. So that's gonna to have to wait. Uh, but all I need to do now is clean up uh, these welds um, and uh, put a touch of paint over them. And we're, we're definitely making progress uh, with this aft end. Uh, I'm also gonna cut off this corner. Lots of people have said to me, um, uh, said in the comments, uh, oh, I, I hope you need, to, you need to cover those corners up. The, the whole cabin will be insulated and then planelled out with you know some nice wood and uh, fixtures and fittings and stuff. These corners won't be in any way visible, but um, I'll cut this one off anyway um, to uh, to just make access easier when we're panelling out. 
This frame, by the way, is actually one of the original frames of the boat, so I don't want to remove too much of the meat, but I can definitely cut the corner off there, which will help a little bit. Right, let's get cracking with that, cleaning this, uh, this up ready for putting some paint on. So we're using, as you know, this ooh, this pink this pink closed cell foam. Um, I'll say this without moving it because it's a bit rustly. So we're using the pink closed cell foam, which is 30 mil, I think, and the black stuff, which is 20 mil, in different places. So up up in the top there, I'll use the 20 mil to maintain space in the the kind of bookshelf pants and socks storage area up there but here what we've actually got is insulation like this and insulation like this and by the time you've got the wooden cladding over that as well these aren't going to present any risk of, of hurting yourself on them whatsoever they're going to be absolutely fine uh, I've just got to finish cleaning up these then I'll I'll just take the, the round around the edges off these and then I think I'll finish cleaning up the soot from where I've been welding and then I can refit these transom fittings and then I can paint I think maybe I should fit the transom fittings after painting in that corner I've run out of uh, white, so I'm using grey, uh, but that's fine because um, it's going to have another full coat of epoxy over the entire cabin anyway before the insulation goes up. Um, there's more welding to do on deck, I've still got more modifications I want to do to the combings and stuff like that, you'll see that in future episodes. So that will burn off some of this anyway, um, but what I just wanted to do was get some paint on the uh, where I've you know welded and burnt the surrounding area so uh, it's grey but that's okay it, you won't see it it'll all be behind the insulation and uh, as I say before we finish before we, we even put the insulation up there'll be a, another full coat of epoxy to go through here and look I've rounded off the corners which doesn't matter because they'll be covered in wood anyway but Everybody seemed to want me to do it, so I've done it. So we've now got on the transom, we've got uh, the bilge pump outlet for the, uh, the bilge under the prop shaft uh, and the bilge pump outlet for the bilge under the engine and that fitting which is for the diesel heater, the Eberspatcher. I can't find that one, it's in my shed somewhere at home. Um, these fittings um, are very old but they're serviceable. Um, they're the old type, um, instead of being a ball valve, they're a gate valve. But for this purpose, I can't think of a reason why I would need to change them. They're not below the waterline, so they're not under any pressure at all. And quite honestly, I can't think of a reason why you need a valve on there anyway. Why would you ever want to block up your bilge pump outlet? That seems a bit mental to me. Um, however, it's on there and if I need to change it for the survey or for insurance or something because they say that it's too old 
then I can get it off easy enough because it's dead easy access now. I've only put a couple of bolts, a couple of nuts and bolts on each one for now because again they're going to be coming off for servicing and for more fabrication but what it does do is it stops wind howling in through these, uh, through this. I'll block that one and that one up for now. Um, but yeah, another job ticked off the list. Uh, I just can't flipping find that fitting for the diesel heater. I want to have a good route, eh? So let's have a quick look at what we've actually achieved so far today. As you can see, it's starting to go dark, but let's have a look at what we've done so far. Uh, we have, let's have a look, seam welded inside the seat. That goes on done over here. Hang on. Done. And we've also, half cabin, uh, not done that, not done that, not done that. Refit, oh yeah, refit the skin fittings to the transom. Done. That's refit the skin fittings to the transom. Done. And uh, one of the very important job, hang out with the wildlings. That goes on doing. Hang out with the wildlings. Oh, in fact, it goes on done. Come and have a look who's um, come to visit us the boat today. Very exciting. Yeah. Who is it, Jack? It's Martin Adiano from Wildling Sailings. If you don't know them, be sure to check out the channel. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, good man. I, uh, <laughs> hugs all I, uh, hey, uh, nice. nice to meet I you at last. Nice to see you. Yeah, you too. How are you doing? And here's Yoshi. Hi, Hello, Yoshi. Hello, Yoshi. So we've got some questions for <laughs> Minky. So these for questions for Minky will be on Mel Sailing Melody. Yeah, because yeah. you're watching it. Because you're watching yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but if you want to see the questions that is um, Wildlings Melody. asked us, then go over to Wildlings. That's yeah. it. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> what would you say was your scariest moment? Oh, there's been a few. For me, it was a, re a recent sail. Uh, it was quite a big swell coming from the back and uh, we needed to jibe and then the, the sail got caught in the in one of the stays and it was just you just look around you and there's just water yeah. like hot you know like yeah yeah, yeah. And, I remember yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, and the mark was at the front and I was pulling the, the jeep shit sheet and then <laughs> and then when I look up like uh, the the boat was like inside the water like right, almost yeah, digging yeah. in the water I was like, Whoa, that that wave is like huge yeah. I'm, like yeah. take a breath what would you say are your five must-haves oh five you're gonna pick five yeah, uh scotch bright. Bright. obviously like <laughs> scotch scotch bright scotch bright obviously uh, not including scotch, all scotch, the like scotch. important stuff. Yes. Yeah, yeah 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 Scotch bright, it's the, the best yeah. thing. <laughs> yeah, Scotch bright. You know, the green I'll, I'll scouring, yeah, green yeah. scouring stuff. Yeah, and uh, butyl tape. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That's a that's a new it's favorite a game changer. for me. Yeah. yeah. Mm. yeah. yeah. Uh, Navionics. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. 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 About Navionics. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what about in the galley? Navionics. In the galley, I would definitely suggest a walk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like sure. a multi-usable one, yeah. yeah. So you can use it as a pan to cook uh, pasta, like yeah, with yeah. boiling water, and you can also cook a big curry for everyone. So it's, it's a, time, yeah. and you can also yeah, do popcorn careful. with it as well. Yeah. So it's very versatile. The baby powder for the sweaty beds yeah for the bed for like the wet because of the dampness yeah. of the condition that we live in but we so never actually i mean you, i always you started, put it on you towards the end you of last season yeah it's my started, new favorite started scattering baby powder everywhere <laughs> it makes it smell better and it's dry it makes it dry mm. yeah baby powder. no we're not we're not there money no object what would your dream boat be 
Uh, oh. Uh, mm. Well, now I'd have to say some sort of catamaran. You converted. So, sorry to all the mono oh. holes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, I don't know that much. I, I don't, don't know. I actually really happy with Minky. I feel like I just it's enough it's space for answer. me to. What you have in Minky? It's enough. No, I don't need a bigger question. boat. I I really don't think. Well, maybe uh, last leak. Last <laughs> <laughs> single piece of equipment would you like to buy for your boat um, that you can't afford yet? Oh, I would say water maker. One single piece, yeah. Wouldn't so, it? Yeah, but we need to like, yeah, a, a, a water maker, mm. or it's kind of cheating, but like a lithium setup. Um, yeah. If yeah. that's cheating, if that if that's allowed. No, no, yeah. that's, that's a great, a great batteries, a, a, motors. A battery. Solar. Yeah. And with, with would you go electric? Electric motor then? Oh, if we could, yeah, yeah. You would. Yeah, we, if we could would afford you? it, absolutely. If you've got yeah. all the the batteries, the solar panels, and the motor, yeah, you go for a full electric conversion. Yeah, because yeah, it'd be like I tens of thousands. Of, uh, but I, I, I love combustion. Really Uma well. did it. Mm. Yeah, Uma yeah. did it. It works for them. And the bonus question: <laughs> What is your best cheap buy? <laughs> oh. Best cheap buy. Best cheap buy. Your bargain hunting <laughs> has to be butyl tape. <laughs> butyl tape. Yeah. yeah. Only cost me. It cost me eight euro, but like a huge roll yeah, of yeah. box. <laughs> it's it's the star. Well, no, years, but it has but... to be like uh, something like really expensive. But then we bought we bought it really cheaply. Uh... What would it be? Well, Minky. I would say. The boat. Yeah. Is but the boat, is. like the market price for the boat is at 55 And it's your home. Yeah. And regardless. We it like regardless of it, it's, it's, yeah. it's your home, isn't it? Yeah. yeah I, don't, I don't think it was a, a bad deal. I don't think it was like, like wow. <laughs> the best thing. But it was minute, like, yeah. it was the correct price for for the boat. I, I feel like, Brilliant. wait until you sell it. Then you will be like, wow, it wasn't oh, really yeah. good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Too shame. <laughs> so the trick is like uh, if you put if you like flatten the rice and then you put your fingertip on top of the rice and then uh, when the water is like in the middle of your first uh, section you wanna try you can just okay. feel it like on just top touch of the top of the rice yeah probably yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, would yeah. you like to peel this okay thank you. <laughs> With the rusty peeler. <laughs> the rusty peeler? Is it yeah. rusty? Rubbish. It's fine. It's not rusty, it's just a little bit oxidised. Yeah. <laughs> oxidised? Yeah. That's what I say about the whole boat. It's yeah. not, ru it's not yeah. rusty, it's, it's just a bit oxidised. It's not actually rust. <laughs> <laughs> it's my uh, it's art artistic rust. touch. <laughs> We've just let it ginger. <laughs> yeah. So it's consistent with Melissa's hair, that's yeah. all. <laughs> That's the yeah. other thing, if we do paint the boat orange, because we were thinking about doing orange. Really? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. top sides and stuff, but then uh, no, you wouldn't be able to see Melissa against it then, because she'd be cam <laughs> camouflaged. <laughs> <laughs> Natural ginger camouflage. Yeah. <laughs> good camouflage. No, we're not, we're not sure what colour we want to go. How mm. did you find Good Tidings colour uh, in comparison to well, Minky? I know it's hard because it's a different boat. I would yeah. say I much prefer white than... Uh, Deeper, yeah. deeper blue, yeah. Well, yeah. The problem with darker colours. It is also looks newer with uh, white. Mm. And yeah. I feel like real cooking yeah. content. <laughs> Side eye. No cutting. I hope you like ginger. <laughs> So sugar and vinegar. Yum. Well, I don't really measure any of my stuff. If it's not, if it's not good, then more sugar or more vinegar. <laughs> so with the sushi rice, you do the same. You put a bit of uh, fish and chip <laughs> vinegar. <laughs> you you just put a bit of vinegar and and a bit of sugar, and then you mix them. <laughs> That's such a classic, like, uh, English sugar bowl. Nest uh, Cafe. 
<laughs> well, I think that's a lot of sugar. Oh, the brands of coffee are available. Yeah. <laughs> and you just mix them. Oh, hang on, this isn't the BBC, it's YouTube. We're all right. Yeah, <laughs> we can talk about what coffee we like. <laughs> Absolutely not sponsored by, all right? Yeah. Not sponsored No product, product placement in this video. <laughs> you can see the, like, you can see a grid, right? Like, uh, lines. Yeah. And then you use the, uh, sh the shiny bit is the outside. So you use this bit to put in your ingredients. Just kind of press it down. <coughs> it doesn't have to be so perfect. So the rice has to cover the entire... Uh, pretty much. It's better to cover the entire thing. <laughs> Don't want to poison at all. <laughs> okay, the plastic, that's all. Come on, Nadia. <laughs> <laughs> pressure, pressure. Do you want me to pressure. <laughs> Too much pressure. Yeah, thank you. You're not doing it properly, Nadia. <laughs> <laughs> you should learn to do it better. <laughs> Before you Jack come up to the show. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, good. Kind of like, let go of this. Sushi wrap. Uh, that looks Jack would just eat that like a sausage roll. <laughs> yeah, you can as well if you want. <laughs> but you can also cut. Yeah, you can cut them with a line that you we see before, like these lines. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, you can hold on to the paper. Um, I'm not sure if I'm doing it very well. Yeah, you're doing, you're doing really a great good. job, Jack. Mm. It's pretty blunt knife. Knife, I think it's been used to cut the insulation. <laughs> 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 oh, I just tear it. Yeah. Yeah, that's something you need as well. Sharp knife. Start with like the closer side to you. So you, your objective is to put this on here. So however you do it. So like that. To roll it, Jack. Mm, well, you, you can just try to come around. <laughs> I'm a really bad teacher. You are a bad teacher. <laughs> Why don't you teach? I don't know how to do it. Hold the middle and okay. then press and then you leave it out a bit when, when you run okay. again so that it will be rolled properly. Little shrimp tail. You did better than Nadia, are He did a really good job. <laughs> I that's think we need another plate. That's some nice looking yeah, sushi. Yeah. We've got more plates. I just can't get them. <laughs> no, well don't done, worry. Jack. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Nadiana, for teaching me. No. Nice. Welsh, oh yeah, saying Welsh. Dioch Nadiana e dusty v create sushi. Oh, that's so cool. It sounds like a like a Norwegian or like a uh, northern. Yeah. European language. Yeah, the, the well, we, we Vikings. Are in the north. Yeah. Vi Vikings and Celts. Yeah. Uh, you yeah. Can't I'm gonna have some sushi. Maybe they should go to the fridge just to keep fresh, I guess. Best sushi ever. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, no, you're no. Very nice. I hope you it's made, actually you have, you've made his day. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> Melody versus Minky top trumps. <laughs> Over on the melody team. First question <laughs> is uh, number of keels on Minky. Well, just two, unfortunately. <laughs> two yeah. keels. Number two. of keels on Melody. Three. Four. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Explain four. how We've four. Got two bilge keels. One long keel and one drop keel. Whoa. <laughs> nice. There you go. So Melody wins round one. <laughs> it's fixed. It's a fix. I don't believe it. I don't trust this. <laughs> right. Number of holes is round two. Number of holes on Minky. Two. Very so, good. Number yeah. of holes on Melody. Just the one. <laughs> Melody. <laughs> Minky rings round two. I was going to say Melody. Melody. Mil Melody? Melody rung ring. Mel Minky wins! Minky wins. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't been drinking. <laughs> Just a bit too Only tea. <laughs> We're very British. Okay, number of masts on Melody. One. One. And it's on the floor. And it's on the floor. <laughs> it's not even on the boat. Number of masts on Minky. Two. Two. And it's standing up. Minky are taking the lead. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 
Next one. Really but we've got the dog. <laughs> Yoshi <laughs> has treated, uh, treated us. He's a traitor. <laughs> Number traitor. of engines in Minky. One broken, broken. one. <laughs> one broken one. Number one broken one. <laughs> so one each, it's but Melody's engine works. Yeah, that's why Yoshi uh, went to them because they had a good, a good engine. <laughs> so Melody win point number four. That's now a four. Um, it's a draw. What? Uh, is it a draw now? It's a draw. It's a draw. Oh, yes. Yes, it's a draw. <laughs> Question number five. Fuel capacity on Minky. Seventy. You're trying to, you're trying to embarrass us here, aren't you? <laughs> a measly, well, 70. Seven, 70 plus the pipes going to the engine. <laughs> so about... Uh, 73? Yeah. <laughs> 73 litres. 73 litres. There, Three litres in the pipes, you reckon? No. <laughs> Three oh, centimetres. Trying to max it up. A yeah, bit. max it up. Number 5. of fuel capacity in Melody. I don't know. I'm not a mechanic. A thousand? I know. One thousand litres. I'm sure you won't be laughing if, when you're filling it up. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> That's very true. We were. Uh, it'll be like it'll be, twelve hundred quid to fill the tanks. Yeah, so. That's good. How Fortunately, in the minute the tanks are full to the brim. Really? Oh, yeah, yeah. We're, yeah, full, full. Well, we've, got to, we've got to clean it all back. Yeah, we're gonna we're oh. gonna polish the polish the diesel. And drink. Oh, you can polish diesel, nice. apparently. <laughs> so is that why you bought the boat? Because it got yeah, yeah. fuel yeah. fuel tank. Yeah. Yeah, that's, a, um, that's a really good point. It goes off half the half diesel. the price of the boat yeah. was in diesel, was in, diesel in the tanks. Yeah. 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 Right. Diesel bug, but anyway. Okay. Yeah, question num So Melody wins that point. Melody is in the lead with <laughs> three to two. <laughs> Ability to float, oh. Melody. Well, we currently have some holes in the bottom of our boat. <laughs> currently, there are two large holes and I think about nine small holes. Oh, and of course, we've got the, the And keel. the keel box is yeah, open. This keel. just lifts up. So if we put Melody in the water she now, sink. she would sink like a stone. <laughs> yeah. Minky, ability to float. Uh, floating. Oh. Yeah. However, we do have some small yeah. leaks. So well, but they're coming in from to... above, not from below. No, also below. She, oh, really? Oh, she also she below. is technically she's sinking, she's but she's in the water. She's sinking slow enough for it for, for the it bilge to be not well, noticeable. Not to sink. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, right. That's, that's worrying. <laughs> You've been away for two months. It's all right. It's in Barcelona somewhere. <laughs> Minky is, uh, Minky try. wins point number six on floating yeah. but sinking. Still floating. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Question number seven. Number of cabins on Minky? Two. Yeah. Number of bedrooms, stroke uh, cabins? Well, we have one four. currently. One currently. Yeah, but there is one being made. Yeah, yeah but yours. that the point doesn't goes count. To, yeah, the point goes to Minky. Still in the lead. Minky <laughs> are in the lead. <laughs> number of berths, sleepable oh. berths. On Minky, you're not One, allowed two, three, to use the four, floor. Five, six, seven, seven for us. So describe those to me. So two, uh, four in each bedroom. And then there's two, there's one Four bunk two, bed. Two in each bedroom. No, 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 no. I meant the two, two person in each bedroom. Okay. And then there's one single berth on the side, and then one bunk bed with two berths at the front of, uh, of the port side. So that's seven. Seven. Number of births, sleepable eight. births, eight. What? No, I, I think it's done. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. And a, and a temporary birth because in nine. the lazarette, the workshop. You wouldn't want nine people on here. We're going we to have, a, have a, like a bed that we can put in there if we have to. But oh, it'll never, okay. it'll only get used in like if we happen Emergency. to take. Yeah, yeah. 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 Extra yeah. people for the Pan Panama Canal or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Melody yeah. wins. Point number eight. Oh, nice. Nice. Yeah. Sail, sail compliment. What light wind sails does Minky carry? Uh, she carries one spinnaker. Oh. There you go. What light wind sails do we have for Melody? We currently don't have a spinnaker. We currently don't have a spinnaker. Oh, we got a storm jib. <laughs> we got a storm jib, but we don't have a spinnaker. We don't have a Jenica. We don't have a Code Zero. We've got no light Coke wind sails. Zero. Not Coke Zero, <laughs> Code Zero. <laughs> Coke Zero is... Yeah, and then he did his whoa! <laughs> yeah. So, right. Minky wins, point number nine. Yay! Yes. Wait, how nice. many points does... Oh, 
we'll add it up at the end. I we'll add it up. I totally okay, forgot. Okay, right. <laughs> this is an interesting one. Leaks from above. One Melody. In, there's two in there. Oh yeah, the four, the four peak hatch. There's one, one in the hatch. It's from the oh, same place. Okay. Um, there's a leak in this hatch right here that was dripping when we were hosing. Remember? Wow. Jack, you're letting us down here. <laughs> we were supposed to win. Keep going, keep going, Jack. Keep going, Jack. Keep going. We were supposed to win this hands down. We were supposed to win this hands. This this was a gimme. This was a, we were supposed to two. Two, two leaks. Have a leak in the back. No, no we're well before that. In this week's episode that's coming out, what's the time? The time. Yeah, it needs to go live in eight minutes. Oh. So we'll yeah. Hello, everybody. <laughs> this week's episode goes live in eight minutes. Yeah. Right, so we're going to uh, wrap this up. Two, two leaks. Two leaks okay. from above. Well, first we have one, two, three, four, four, five, Easily. four, oh, yeah, five. I would say. So do they win? Because they've got more? No, we win because we got we'll less lose. leaks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Melody wins. <laughs> Point <laughs> number ten. Nice dance. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, point number eleven, number of crew on Melody. Eight. What number what? of crew? <laughs> I don't. Who are you planning have to you, bring have with you us? Have you been keeping spiders? <laughs> <laughs> three. Three. Yeah, sorry. Andy, yeah. Melissa, the, and Captain eight Jack. Eight counting all the spiders and flies. Okay. <laughs> okay. Crew on Minky. Well, we got two human and one little pirate. One little, <laughs> one little stowaway. That's definitely a draw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> there is no way that Yoshi is not a valued crew member. He's, he's a bit liability, <laughs> yes. but he's our he's crew. He's, he's a crew. little shy. He's crew. Yeah. <laughs> That's a draw. Uh, number of so oh hang on, yeah. where are we? Oh, I don't know. Number of rudders. Oh. oh. One rudder. Well, wow. that's not fair. We got, we got two. Yeah. <laughs> two rudders. Wait, what about the... Um... So that means, to, to, to add up the scores, Hang on. And point number 12 goes to Minky. <gasps> they won! Oh, no, we won! So Minky <laughs> wins. Oh, Minky wins. Oh, wait, 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 yeah. Stop. No, 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 no. no. Was that no Minky so wins. Well, wait, stop. Fair. Wait, wait, wait. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Stop hang on. arguing with the judge's decision is final. To be, to be fair, they are in the water. They're in the water. They <laughs> currently I mean, is. I think that deserves... Minky all. wins. No. Yay! Oh. Congratulations, oh. Minky. Thank you. Oh, thank you. I, thought, I thought we rigged it to be even. Oh, yeah, but, no, but, but, but it was rigged by the mathematical uh. genius that is me. Um, oh. Winning oh, the yeah. prize oh. We've got the winning prize. To Oh, goes to you so very, very welcome. Thank you. It's well yes. Cheers. <laughs> so that's the end of another episode of Sailing Melody. It's been fantastic to have Wildings here. Thank Cheers, guys. Yeah. Thanks so for having for us. No, no, thanks for coming. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Thanks so much for watching. Remember, you can follow our Instagram and Facebook pages for news and updates. You can support us on Patreon and Coffee, and you can get our new Sailing Melody shirts and merch dies by clicking the pictures under the video or clicking the links in the video description. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, click the notification bell and give the video a thumbs up. We will see you very soon. Andy, Melissa and Captain Jack.